Hello everyone. This video is going to be talking about some of the teaser things for May as well as some of the updates for Dungeoneering that they've done recently and are going to do in the future. So first of all, they just released a message on the uh, RuneScape main page talking a little bit about May. They called it Mad May and Wild Weekend. So for every day in May, you're going to get an extra daily spin on the School of Fortune, and if you're members for the entire month, you'll get an extra 5k loyalty points, as well as some sort of experience item, which will allow you to get double experience for 250k overall. So that's quite good. Um, it's a lot of extra experience, and 5k loyalty points is nice. And then they also described it as may having monstrously cool content which i would be incredibly surprised if that didn't mean that they were coming out with the new bosses so i'd say we could probably expect the cow fight king and the queen black dragon to be coming out next month uh, so if i'm right about that that should be pretty cool i'm looking forward to those um, so that covers the mad may part of the news post the only other part that was mentioned is the wild weekends so they said something about having a new and different event every weekend i'm not quite sure what it will be. They haven't released any information about it as far as I can see, but that could be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be things uh, like their double Slayer experience day, or was it triple? I can't even remember now. Uh, the And then they had like the triple Cast Wars tickets, hopefully stuff like that to get people active in certain areas of the game. Uh, so, yep, I, I don't know. I really enjoyed that week that they had after the bot nuke last year, where they did all the double experience and all that fun stuff with minigames. So yeah, I hope they do that again, but we'll see what the weekends that they're planning are like. And besides that, uh, that's pretty much it for May. So on to the Dungeoneering teaser thing. So today they released this teaser picture. It looks like the Unholy Curse Bearer, although it looks a little bit different than normal. And it's definitely part of the Fremi sagas because it shows Doc and Marmoros, their little icons on the top there. So I guess they have to fight it or something. So we'll see, it should be interesting. And they also released some, this also has to do with the sagas, it's the rhyme bound letters. Rhyme is like frost, R-I-M-E. So it has to do with, uh, well, it's just Dungeoneering related stuff. So if you're interested in lore, I've got a link in the description or you can just check out the main page and click on the link to it. I always like reading those, but I know not everyone does. It doesn't actually give a whole lot away. Some of their, their other lores have been uh, more informative, but still worth a little read. It doesn't take all that long. And then finally, the last engineering thing that they did, I think they actually did this a few days ago and I just missed it. What they did is they increased the chance of getting all Slayer monsters in Dungeoneering. So if you're looking for Shadow Silk Hood, Hex Hunter Bow, Blood Necklace, or any of the other Slayer drops, it's much easier to get them now. So going on with that, I'm going to be doing some live stream Dungeoneering later today. So if you're interested in watching some high-level floors, uh, feel free to take a look. I'll probably start in an hour and a half to two hours from when I upload this video. So, yep, take a look at that if you're interested, and thanks for watching.